What is an invoice? Invoice is um, a document that you uh, give it to your customer so that uh, they can pay you for your service or your goods. But you are a professor and consultant. Why do you need to generate invoices? Well, I do a service for my clients. Uh, if I'm a consultant and if I'm a professor, I'm teaching students. So I have to generate an invoice. Why not use Excel or something simple to generate your invoices? I've tried that. It's no good. Uh, when it particularly when there are many clients uh, managing excels and templates becomes very very tricky why don't you hire someone you know professional to do these for you i've tried it uh, i have to give them lots of information no not that there's anything wrong with them uh, just that i found it to be a bit too tricky professional software Good point. I have tried that too. But what's the fun in that, right? So what did you do? <laughs> this is the interesting part. I took uh, a software called Emacs Org Mode. And uh, with that, I added Python code to it. I added so many other things to it. And then uh, came a really nice customizable uh, way to generate invoices. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just slow it down, bro. Give me the story. Okay, okay, okay. I will. Story. Uh, story is simple. The client wanted an invoice. So I generated an invoice. Uh, it wasn't good enough. So I hacked some little bit of it. I changed. Every time a new client came, I had to do it all over again. I did that and did it that I got really tired of it. And that's what led me to all this customizations. I want features. Uh, so rapid fire questions. Ready? Yep. Uh, project management. Yep. Format customization. Yes. PDF export. Yes. Multi-client support. Yes. Washing my clothes. Yes, no. Uh, how I just testing you, you were paying attention or not. Logo and signature customization? Yes. Uh, multi currency support? Yes. Okay, enough talking. Or it's just, can you show me a demo what you did or is it just talking? Yes, of course, demo. Okay, demo time. Some ingredients for invoicing org mode, of course, Python environment, and libraries for Python. Pandas tablet num words, yeah, snippet package, very useful. And I use for LaTeX, MicTeX packages. So I have a project already set up. Uh, this is what we uh, have the project as teaching 2021. And you can set all this up. So let's start with the first and foremost. Okay, so we're going to use the uh, yeah, snippet package, uh, um, sorry, the invoice. Okay, this is what I'm going to use. It gives you this whole, generates this whole bunch of code based on a template. All you're going to do is to type out the client's name. Okay, and that's it. That's all there is to it. Okay, there's a whole bunch of instructions that you can follow. If it's for the first time, use bankinfo.org. Let's check out what bankinfo.org involves. Okay, so you can copy this template from, from uh, my GitHub repository. Uh, it's basically set up of the LaTeX um, tags and particularly this tech file, which is a uh, template. There's some personal info, of all the details that you want. Bank information, you can look at it in detail uh, in my from my repo. And uh, the tax invoice, um, there are some basic constructs. You can, it, you can totally change any of these that, uh, to your liking. So that's bank info. Go back. That's the first part. For the second part is creating a client name. So let's look at this setup. And I have one created already. Uh, so in order to create this, all you need to do is to use the um, INV setup, invoice setup uh, for your client. And it will give you all the information. Uh, all you need to do is type in here 
and then type in the client's name exactly the same that you see as the fi file name okay client one and that's it you're all set for you okay so that's what it looks like all the address and stuff filled out here okay and then uh next one is to uh use uh the to uh one time you're going to do the invoice item which is the rate table so let's do the invoice i oops sorry invoice item this is item master so here again another place where you have to enter the client name and your rate table is ready for use okay so that was now we go to step two which is clock table for reference okay let's go to the clock table um, i already set up this for uh, acme client one and i give it a tag billable okay we will see that uh, where have i done that and uh, okay so that's uh, the client uh, you know acme client table teaching 2021 i've clocked it for the previous month that's what you will see let's see it again okay that's uh let's put the instructions um and then you go to clock table to generate the clock table for the client okay so clock table this is only for your reference not going to be exported and here we get a clock table all right so with this you get the clock table you now go into the items part you will see a um, two python blocks which is what the next instruction says uh, go into the python block and do control cc go to the control uh, python python source block the second one and do control cc control c control c rather and then finally come back to race invoice and do a dispatcher which is export into pdf okay let's do that uh first one is i just run this code uh, and it generated this table for me okay so it has all the details now we go in uh, to the second source code block and it does all this and it has generated this stuff plus you should note that for bean count it has also generated the um uh, block for that it's all in the code you can customize it if you're on ledger you can customize it to the way you want any accounts that you want to change it's all customizable here even the currency symbols can be changed from inr and rupees to whatever currency you have can be changed accordingly okay and i have a odd be able tangle append code that i will share in the i borrowed it from somebody on the internet i'll share that as well in my github uh, repo uh, lastly, I just want to share that uh, you can uh, fill your GST website uh, with these info. So you can you can put in as many entries as you want in your YAS snippet, customize it the way you want. I also added a month later due date reminder saying if the invoice is paid or not. Okay, so um, a few tips to end uh, this demo is you can customize currency symbol and currency words according to your own currency. I use the European slash Indian date format, which is percentage D, percentage M, percentage Y. You can also the Indian language is Indian English, so it will change according the numerals change according to the Indian format. Uh, numbering format for invoice number is today's date followed by client name. Okay, that's my default. You can customize that as well. Okay, let's try and export this to the subtree. Control S. So that's step number seven. And there it is, the tax invoice for Dr. Wiley Coyote. And with a lovely signature as well. That's great. If I were to try this out, what do I do? Go to github.com into my repository, I'll leave my uh, GitHub um, URL, and you can uh, download it, use it, and let me know how it pans out for you. I have spent so much time on this. May I invoice you?